What's up guys, my name is Michael and welcome to my YouTube channel. And today, you know what? We're doing the next problem of Leak Code. Leak Code Easy. We are on a Leak Code Easy grind, alright? So basically, this is the playlist of going through all Leak Code algorithms, alright? So we're today we're going to do Jewels and Stones. If you don't know what Leak Code is, Leak Code is basically a website that helps you do interview preparations, on whatever topic you want to do so we this channel is mostly about competitive programming and algorithms and data structures so we're just gonna do algorithms all you gotta do is create a create an account and on algorithms sort it by difficulty sort it by difficulty and then go to the problem so today we're gonna do jewels and stones so what is jewels and stones you're given a string J representing the type of stones that are jewels S representing the type of stones you have. Each character in S is a type of stone you have. You want to know how many of the stones you have are also jewels. The letters in J are guaranteed distinct. All characters in J and S are letters. Letters are case sensitive, so A is considered a different type of stone from uppercase A. Okay, so lowercase A is different from the stone of uppercase A. So we have a string of so in this example, example one, J is equal to lowercase a, uppercase big A, and S is equal to lowercase a, two uppercase A's, and four B's, lowercase B. And this is outputting three. So basically we are trying to count how many of these, the letters of J are appearing in S. So this is basically what it's doing. So the reason why it's three is because there are there is one lowercase a here in S, right? There's a lowercase a, and then there's two uppercase a's that are also in S, right? So the reason why is because J has a lowercase a, so let's count one, and then J also has an uppercase a, right? So S has two uppercase A's and one lowercase A, so that's why it's three. So we're just counting the number of the number of characters that are the same in S that are in J, right? That's basically what we're doing. What? How do we do this? Well, first of all, we got to go through all the characters in J. So I'm gonna do four in i equals zero. I is less than j dot size. I plus plus. Okay, we're gonna go through all the characters in J. So we want to keep track of the number of characters in J, if it's already visited or not, right? The way to do this is using a map. The reason why is because I can map every single character in J to a boolean of if it's already visited or not. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna create a map. Map, let's just say is visited, All right? This map is going to have, it's gonna map every character to a, a Boolean, okay? So what are we gonna do? We are going to store every character that's in J into this map and then we are going to set it at equal to true so while we go through all the characters in j we are going to set is visited at j of i which is the character which the the character all the characters in j set this to true so what this is going to do is going to go through every single character in um and J, map the ones that are visited to true. Now we have all that that is true. We want to go through S, okay, and then count how many that are visited already. That all the characters in S that are already visited. Oh, excuse me. All the characters in J that are already visited in S. So to do that, we're going to go through every single character in S. So here, I'm going through every single character in S. 
if now if it is already visited, if the character this is the character I asked somehow, right? If it's already visited, so it is visited. It's already visited. We're gonna add we're gonna create a counter. No jewels. Go zero. And we're gonna increase it. Because that means it's already visited. After this is done, we're going to return num jewels. Okay, so do you guys know what I'm doing? I'm going through every single character in J. Because we're trying to get all the characters in J that like add up the ones with this thing. We want to get all the characters in J that are in S. Alright, that's what, that's what we're trying to do. So what I'm doing is I'm going through every character in J and I set it as equal to true. Then I'm going to go to every character of S. If it's already visited, then I increase the number of jewels that I've looked at. All right. Then I'm going to return it. Let's run this code and see what it does. Okay, we have a syntax error. What is the syntax error? Is visited is not declared in this code. Hmm. Oh, I just spelled it. Visited. Okay, let's run it again. Okay, the output is expected. Expected. Accepted. Okay. So that is what my solution is to this. And I got a 70% faster than 70% solution. Let's see what other people did, because if they, there's probably a, okay, so there's, this is a C++. Ooh, okay. This is basically what I did. Except they use an unordered map. And... Oh, so they keep track of it already. So here what they're doing is they're, they're already adding up all the values. While you're going through, through S. So they go through S length. And they they add up all the letters that are, that that are already in S, and then here they're going through J, and then they just sum up all of them, the ones that are already it. So okay, so I could type this up. This seems this seems to look a better solution. So basically, they're going to map every character to an integer, and then add that them up. Then they're going to go through J, and they're going to add up all the sums. All the kid, the ones that are not zero, so that's what they're doing. Uh, let's see. So I'm gonna type that up because that that solution said it got faster than 100. percent My solution got faster than 70, but this one is going faster than 100, so I might as well type this up. So here, what they did was they're gonna change this to is basically okay. So I'm gonna do that. Also. Um, I guess it doesn't matter. For you. How do you how do you spell it? Like, unordered. Uh, unordered underscore map. Yes. Un unordered underscore map is visited. So what they did was instead of going through J first, they're going through S first. So S dot size. S dot plus. S dot plus size. And they're going to keep track of S's. The number of characters that S repeated. So the number of characters that S repeated. So here's going to be 1, here's going to be 2. Uh, yeah, so for every character, they're keeping track of the number of ones that are repeated. So here they have A is going to be 1. Uppercase A is going to have 2. B's are going to be 4, four lowercase B's. Now, there, what they did was they're gonna go through all of the math inside of is visited, and then what they did was they added up all the ones. That is, uh, let's see what was it? S -S -S. Sum of all values. 
I don't know the same box. But let's see. Hmm. You can use an iterator, but I don't want to do that. Let's see, what did you do? Uh yeah. Okay, let me go back and see the solution real quick. And type that up. It's faster than his, it's faster than his. Okay, so it's just unordered math. Okay, so for every x and j, if it is visited, um, if we visit x, yeah, if we visit x, then we can just sum up the total at that location. So here, some total plus equals. Uh, some, uh, let's see, some total of is visited. Yeah, and then you replace them. Here. Run it. Yep, works. Hmm, I still get only 70%. I guess this is even actually 100 That's really strange. Maybe it's because I'm doing S outside. It's the one change. Yeah, okay, so I, I don't know, I don't know how his solution got 100%. But, yeah, I should talk, so that was, that's basically how you do num jewels in stones. If you want to keep track of the number of the characters that are repeated, use a map. It really, it helps a lot. Because there's going to be like a one-on-one -on -one relation, generally, if you have a map. So then that would keep track of it. But yeah, that's jewels in stones. Rate, comment, subscribe. If you have any issues, please let me know in the comment section below. As always, peace.